and welcome to Steve Plays, back with one of my old favourites and old classics in FTL or Faster Than Light. Those of you that have been in the channel since zero subscribers will remember that I did an absolute fuck ton of FTL videos. Um, so I wanted to revisit it, see things have changed. So I'm going to do two runs um, in this mode and then I'm going to add some mods to it. Um, we're going to try and follow a similar format as we did previously. But also with this video, it's a pleasure to say thank you to everybody who supported the channel over the uh, long while it's been up. Um, in the fact that we now have over 200 subscribers. So a massive thank you to everybody on that one. Um, obviously this is more of a part-time thing for me, but I never, sub never thought I'd get more than like 10. So you guys, awesome. Thank you very much. So for the people that weren't aware of how much I played FTL, the link in here will be to the main playlist. I apologise now if my audio is shit, um, but you know, it was the early days. But let's have a look at some stats. I've had a couple of victories. Um, I've had four in total, um, one with HMS, all on easy because I was a noob back then and didn't know what the fuck I was doing. So as you can see we've got quite a lot of stats, HMS victory, USS Wang, classic. Red tail, which I don't think I even changed the uh, thing on that one. So, but yeah, as you can see, I played it rather a lot, and yeah, as you can see, this rebirth pain. That's the other one I got it on. HMS pain. So, never actually managed to finish one with a Zoltan cruiser. Bit weird. Bit strange. Might actually do that. Might do one with a Kestrel, and uh, see if we can get a victory with a Kestrel. So, like I said, we're gonna go on normal. Uh, advanced edition content. Let's enable it. Fuck it. So as you can see, I do have two loadouts available for this one, and we're gonna give it a quick bash. I'm gonna just put my name in there, and um, we're gonna stick in some classic names from. Oh, look, it's already known Andrew. So I'm gonna stick in some of my buds. Uh, I'm gonna stick Adam in there as well. Unfortunately, I've only got three crew. So I can't stick the old Stephen Adam and and uh, Stephen Andrew Adam and Jordan in there, so it's a bit of a shame. So we've got the classic Artemis missile and the burst laser, and we're going to name it the Kestrel. Uh, let's go Kestrel 2016. Like I know what I'm doing. So complete. It's also a Kestrel. So we go. I, I never was able to do that one, even when I was playing it on my own. So, but we'll see. Let's jump in. So as we all, if you've never, ever, ever played FTL, where have you been? You've been under a rock for most of your life, and most of your gaming life, really. So basically, we have to get to, in this, the end of Sector 8 and defeat bosses. We have to outrun rebel ships, and on the way, we need to pick up quests, little things like that, and try not to basically die. Now, obviously, normal, this is a little bit more difficult. So, as you can see, I've got a group of people here. And what we can do is we can save current position. So we've got a guy on the weapons, guy on the engine, guy on that. So that's excellent. Now, always power down that. I always put extra power in the uh, engine. That gives me more. I've only got 10 scrap on normal. I'm going to have less scrap to deal with. That's what we use to buy things with. So obviously we can upgrade all the systems. So that. But for you experts, you know what you're talking about. So we are here. I've turned on the little markers so we can actually see where we can go. And we're going to head initially to the distress beacon, which unfortunately means oh, I can jump straight to there from it. So, because we haven't got enough to go to the store, we'll see what's happening. This is probably a trap. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt. I've had a ship with a pirate markings partially crushed between the two large rocks. You've been, it must have been illegally mining without proper equipment. Now, we're going to try and dislodge the ship. Damn. A few careful shots to spoil the mineral patches and it reacts violently. Shall we force you back and we take some damage? We get some scrap. So as you can see we took damage and that wasn't a pretty good move. Some of them are traps. Which is a bit of a thing. A ship with conspicuous pirate markers is orbiting a nearby moon. Broadcast a simple message claiming to have equipment available for sale. Hail the ship. Yes, sir, an extensive stock come aboard. This seems dangerous. As soon as you try, yeah, well, I'm going off money anyway. As soon as you start to reverse your ship, the pirate reveals hidden weaponry and sets off in pursuit. You'll have to fight him. 
So if I'm going to pause it with spacebar. Now, as you can see, these things, these weapons are going to build up over time. And we have to knock out the systems. Now, it looks like he's got an iron cannon and a laser. So that iron cannon disables my shields. And obviously the laser does damage. We've got a missile that can breach that. And a nice little this laser. Now I'm going to aim for his weapons first. And I'm going to turn on auto fire. Because I love auto fire. And I'm going to save my missiles. These are my missiles. That's my fuel and that's my drone parts. And obviously my shields are there. And, uh, we can obviously take damage. I've got an issue with my doors. So I'm going to go over there. Let's fire a missile. So I'm going to knock out his shields if I can. So they they don't want me to kill them. Then they're going to offer me three missiles, one droid, and nine scrap. Nah. Sod that. Now I'm repairing my uh, lovely doors. I'm also going to take out their engine. Actually, the shield. As you can see, that's their health. He has no shields because that system is down. I'll put you back. And their weapons are only just coming back online slowly. And they are dead. So we've got two missiles, a drone, and 12 scrap. So we've got a little bit more. Obviously, it's hit and miss. You're not guaranteed to get it all the time. Here are the rebels, which is always fun. And we're going to try and escape. So you can see, we're going to head here. We're going to try and... In the first stages, you, what you need to do is try and stay in the zone as much as possible. But without being caught up. Uh, you come across the space station on the construction. It's a message. Greetings, we recently lost contact with the cargo ship. Uh, can you always find it? Yes, I do. They're giving me a quest marker, which is all the way up there. Bastards. I'm going to have to get up there, so I'm going to have to go a bit quicker. Um, we can take that mercenary ship. Providing services along we've got scrap. So, no thank you. I'm going to fight you. Feeling a bit bolshy today. Like I said, I'm not going to power up my med bay. I'm not going to use my uh, missiles until I need to. Sweet so missed. Going for his shields. I'll put a missile on his weapons. There, his shields are gone. We're going to hit his uh, engine now, so he definitely can't dodge. Save the missile. Don't need it. You can see they're going to repair that as well. If we hit the oxygen, obviously, you can starve them of oxygen. It's always quite fun. Boom, boom, boom. Excellent. And we got two of our fuels, some missiles, and a bit of scrap. And what I'm going to do is I am going to buy a power bar. So just in case we need to keep everything powered, we can go from there. So we're going to go here, up, up to the quest, and come back down. It's all about planning. Another rebel ship, rebel checkpoint is monitoring this location. The most civilian ships are awaiting inspection. Any of them could be Federation loyalists. I just haven't noticed you yet. Fend for yourself, attack and escape. Well... You know, I'm, I'm being a bit ballsy today. They have a drone here, so that could be a repair drone. Or not. Ion Intruder. Well, I can't do anything about that. Fuck. Oh, he's powering his FTL drive. So what we're going to do, we took out his oxygen and his thing there. I'm going to power you up. Ah, oh, stop dazing me, you little bastard. Let's keep aiming at his engine. Attack him! So, left behind a substantial amount of scrap, but we've still got all oh, the intruders disappeared. Now, this is an issue. I'm going to open these doors. I like having control of these doors. Now the problem is, is that obviously we'll lose the thing, but we need to try and flood this space with a bit of oxygen. These guys are going to lose health, but we need to repair that, that shitty little crack. 
So that's... Oh, what was the button for it? it? Used to be a button. X to close all doors, Z. <coughs> so we can ventilate. Uh, we can also shut the doors. Oh god, that was a mistake. <coughs> Excuse me. So, oxygen's going back up. We've got 52% oxygen. These guys are slowly levelling up as they're doing things as well. So, engines, I'm actually going to put you in shields. I'm going to reset that to that. Okay, and we're going to... Wrong button. We're going to go up here. Nearby planet, speckled with settlements, although nothing responds to your hails. Sometimes you'll get ball all. Which is always... Ah, fucking hell. I keep doing it. And I'm, I'm going to suck someone out into the fucking... Depths of space, aren't I? Oh, let's go to the quest. Let's see what happens. You find the missing code ship container. Floating near the beacon. Thank heavens we've been drifting here and lost. used lost our fuel to escape. Now we can offer them some fuel. And they give us 16 credits. Nice. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be ballsy now. And wait to escape until the very last moment. Now the mercenary's hailing me again. And we're going to fight him. Because, you know, we're being ballsy, guys. Let's knock out his shield first. Actually, knock out the oxygen and knock out his shield with the missile. And we're going to knock out his weapon as well. This is easy way, but you got to remember, those missiles are a resource. I repaired his oxygen really quick. He's resisted part of that. His weapons are down. But his shield's going to come online, though. That's a problem. Well, weapons come online. And they're dead. We got a bit more scrap and fuel. Excellent. There's a store there. I'm going to head here first. I don't really need a store because I've only got 37 credits. Go across Rebel Ultimate Scout. Pursue a civilian ship. Weapons engage. Aid the civilian. Oh, he's hit my oxygen. Shit. Uh, hit that and hit that. Shit, that means our oxygen is now fucked. So our oxygen is now coming back online thanks to that. I'm going to try and keep that one at bay. Hopefully it doesn't repair. So, ooh, lucky we did that. Ship breaks apart. We contact the civs. Made a fast and hasty retreat. Well done. See, now if we headed to the store now, what we'd do is that would probably be under rebel control by the time we got to it. We haven't got enough for, to fight them so far. Held by a loyalist settlement, and they hear my quest. Excellent. So they gave me shit. See, we were right, so if we'd have gone, we'd have been in deep shit. So let's go to the next sector, and we're going to head to the Hmm. Should we go for a high risk one? We'll go abandoned. And that's where you're going to find us next time. The start of the abandoned sector. So, hope you guys are going to enjoy this. Uh, a bit of a special. Something different. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you again soon.